Hello, well in this film I'm going to show you the Delaware Pavilion which is on the south coast of England on Bexhill seafront and it's a very interesting built 1935 grade 1 listed modernist building in the art deco style and it's actually named the Delaware Pavilion after Herbrand Sackville who was the ninth Earl of De uh, Delaware and he actually organised a competition to design the pavilion. It was one of the first modernist public buildings in the UK and it was unique because it had a welded steel frame so the first time a, a welded steel frame was used. I love looking around it because it's got a lovely big sweeping staircase, good meeting rooms and they put on some very interesting exhibitions as well. So it's a lovely place just to have a wander around and then explore. We actually went there because they had a ladybird exhibition. Now to some people you'll be thinking hang on ladybird. When I grew up um, in the sort of 50s, 60s, 70s ladybird books were very popular and there were little books that you could buy which you could get in places like Woolworths for half a crown. Now in modern money that's 12 and a half p so it didn't cost all that much and they were made in a way that they could be printed with 56 pages in the production process using a single sheet of paper. So they were using wartime economy of materials. Anyway, Ladybird books were very good for doing your homework. It was before the days of internet. Oh, I should just add, this is the food at the Delaware Pavilion you're seeing now on screen. So it's, it's rather yummy actually. Yes, anyway, back. And I used to have quite a few Ladybird books for doing my homework. I can quite distinctly remember them. And I think you'll find a lot of people in their sort of 50s now or 60s will remember Ladybird with very fond memories. The books always had the little logo of the Ladybird which did actually slightly change in design. These are the vintage books here. Cinderella was very popular. The books sort of stereotyped British family life so it was dad and son would do the woodwork and here's the woodworking book. Daughters would work in the kitchen with their mothers. It was all very politically incorrect for these days. But um, it, it did give a nice little cast of middle class life. And you, every family had a nice pet dog. No question of affordability or anything like that. Uh, but they were very good reference books. And in fact, things like the computer book was reputedly used by the Ministry of Defence to teach people in the basics of computers. Some of the grammar books were used by journalists, apparently. And the metalworking book is particularly good for budding blacksmiths. So there you are, a very good little range of books and lovely to look around. Do recommend that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching and thanks.